Alright, here we go. I'm not ready yet. Ready yet. Ooh. I'm not ready yet. Oh yeah, bye bye Zella. Oh my god! Wow, I can't believe it. it. Yeah, oh my god. This is so funny, did I get no? I thought I finally got the dagger that I needed. Oh my god, my dagger is not even level 5, it's only a level 4. Wait, have you killed the level 4? No, I, so I thought I fi So I've been using this like, not proper dagger. But but I wait, did I? Oh no, I just have this in my inventory. Wow. I can't believe I did it. I I find I thought I finally got the dagger that I needed. I this is so funny, I don't even have well I d I don't even have this level five. This is a level four. I could upgrade this one more. Holy smokes. Wow. Look at me, look at me, I have this. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, I don't even know what to do now, the game's over. Oh, season one complete. Oh, did I claim this yet? Yeah, here we go, I have... Where is it here? Kill, no, hold on, yeah, 1% killed Echo Lilith. In Lil Echo of Hatred and Torment 4. I don't even know what to do. Oh, you? Screenshot? Well, I'm recording, so that's fine. Uh, here it is, this one. Wow, I can't believe that. My goodness. What a... What a grind. Look at this. I just got this. Maybe? No. I don't even know what I got. No history? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, well. Thank you to this YouTuber. I gotta... I gotta find this YouTuber. Watch history. His name is... Luna Tally, L U N A T A L L I. Holy smokes. Yeah, so his YouTube is youtube.com slash at Luna T A L L I. I copied his build. This Paragon made the difference. Like, I think this Paragon is really tough for Nightmare uh, dungeon pushes. And, but like, it was hard because look at all my glyphs. 21, fine. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. All the glyphs that I needed, like I have 21 combat, diminish 21, exploit 21, turf 21, DVS 19, tracker working on that. Uh, but 
holy smokes what a journey it's been uh, here's my gear here my gear is like of the gear here this crowd control duration is quite important because I think it increases the stagger bar or something like that four ranks of poison viewment much needed basic attack speed is very important because you need that uh, to you get this this here because basically you're spamming I left hold left click down and I spam my right click but you need this also the basic skill to proc uh, this thing here anyways and then so this is exactly you have 20 percent increased crowd control so same thing as this crowd control increase I didn't think this was important but like this made a huge difference uh, on your chest Damage to imbued skill is quite important. Death is important. Uh, the damage reduction not that important. Base damage is important. Ish. Vista fades critical for the uh, energy regen, and also the lucky hey, lucky chance to daze, uh, lucky chance to immobilize. This helps stagger her really fast. In the perfect world, what you should do is once you stagger, you switch to your normal glove because you get four ranks of twisting blades. And then my pants. This is important because I get my little shadows, which give me what I use for my shadows is crit, more crit chance. Uh, penitent Greaves with a question. Attack speed on this one. This, I don't even have. Oh, that, you want a vulnerable core and dex, and all stats would be better. But damage chill, not bad, because my Penitent Greaves chills. This is funny. I don't even have this level five. I had no idea. I couldn't see this little thing here. Damage close. All you need on this dagger is more important for poison because you want more attack speed. It's less damage, but you want high damage per second. Damage close. Damage to vulnerable. Core skill. All stat decks. This is actually a really good play to have. This condemnation. I mean, it's good, but the other one's better. That the one that starts with an A. Uh, dual weapon basic attack speed this kind of sucks uh this is much needed poison imbued create the toxic pool that's bursting venoms every time when lil is staggered and i don't see this flashing means my bursting venom is not proccing means it's, i'm done uh this one important to get vulnerable crit chance resource regen those are the three most important They're vulnerable crit chance resource regen the poison damage was kind of bonus. Imbued skill damage also pretty good. Sorry, what you want here is a lucky hit, resource gen, crit chance, and then either something else, vulnerable. Uh, sorry, I said that right. Vulnerable, resource gen, crit chance, uh, and lucky. Those are the four you want. So my gear is really bad. Crit strike chance, crit damage. It doesn't help. Movement speed is good just to dodge those faces that I didn't even have to do in the second phase. I killed it before these came out. Exploit, that's not the best. You want frigid finesse. Uh, three ranks to imbued skill is very important. I I think I have a high rule for this affix. Your imbuement skill is 57%. It's pretty good though. Pretty good. Hearts wise, uh, this stun grenades helps stagger her so much faster. Uh, this heart is honestly this is needed this is way better than the barber for Lilith because it stores up all the crowd control damage and then it's 150% damage on that this this is like the Lilith Lilith heart and then this one you don't really need this one I think 20% 19% 20% damage reduction uh, but maybe I mean I die all the time anyway so I don't think this is really needed you can probably put that resource one where you use your resources your life to do use your life to use as a resource so you can get in more damage uh, of course combo hits no question uh, skills obvious 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 that one days to get more stun this one I switched between shadow step and dash a lot uh, but I think that's important because this is stunned to stagger a little more. Uh, Dark Shroud, crit, talked about that. Stun, smoke grenades, I, I, I use this because this also dazes. And then I, 
Yeah, well, Daze never drives that well, right? I don't know if that actually helps, but I use this to stagger. Poison, of course, Poison Trap. Uh, exploit, Malice, these are good, these are good. Uh, poison Pew, the most important here. 75 more damage. I think my helmet has these. I don't even know what's giving me a plus three. Let's take a look. Oh no, my uh, amulet is 3D all in view. Uh, Frigid Finesse, it should be six. I only have three. Precision, you need more crit chance. These three is all about lucky. You need all nine of these. Trap, obviously, because you're using your trap. This, you only need to get to this. Uh, this just attack speed and close quarter, close quarter combat for more attack speed. So, anyways, oh wow, what a journey this has been. Quite fun. But, uh, oh, and I also use this. The other elixir you can use is the lucky chance, I think 30%, or attack speed 30%. I just use this one that you crafted at 20% because I was able to give up. But uh, yeah, finally did it, so it's exciting. A little bit different from my normal videos, but this is what I've been busy with, I guess, trying to save the world from a prime evil. <laughs> oh boy, okay, anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go back home. Finally can quit this game now, all the slugs. I spent about, I'd say, probably thirty million dollars fighting her. So thirty, oh, more than that. I, I probably spent about forty million, forty million divided by each time it's about three hundred twenty thousand damage. Or sorry, three hundred twenty thousand. Sorry, forty million divided by three hundred twenty. So I repaired 125 times. You repair when you get to 20%. So that means six times six. I fought Lilith 750 times. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. Uh, that's a nice perform, though. The other killer should repair my stuff already. So okay. Well, that is it. This is the. Oh, I got this as a drop. That's what this is. These are my prizes from Lilith. Garbage. Oh, and another thing of this. Uh, no, never mind. Crop configuration. Kind of garbage. Yeah, low basic skill. Low, oh my god, garbage. I will keep these just because they're from Velva. Why not? Thank you, Lila. Let me upgrade my dagger. Because why not? What a joke. Yeah, you know, all okay, that's it. Wow, I got a perfect roll of decks. Oh, my Paragon. I mean. If you guys really want to see the Paragon, I can build it, but yeah, maybe I'll keep this screen up so you can see. Efficacy here on this first one for imbuement skill. Um, cunning Stratagem. I don't think anyone uses this board. <laughs> Kudos to that Luna Tally guy for finding it. He's got 300 subs, so go check out his stream, not mine. But uh, versatility. Oh, non basic and non core skills, so I think this helps poison. Uh, we got Tricks of the Trade, everyone uses this one. Closer, Cutthroat, so that's your right click, your twisting blades. Oh, sorry, leave this up for a second. You guys can pause and I guess if you want to replicate those. Uh, Bane is really good for poison, so for every 5 strength you gain 7.5 7 increased damage. 
If I level this at 21, I do way more damage. And this is on the no witness board. Coming up here. Uh, exploit weakness. This is to vulnerable Lilith. And then Glyph is canny. Uh, increase in non-physical damage. Sure. I think these are critical. Damage injured. Vulnerable is nice. Hmm, I don't even have this yet. Ooh, I'm short for intelligence. Kind of dumb. Eldritch Bounty. This is just for imbuement. Like, this is crazy. Look at this inefficiency. Just to get that imbuement, uh, I could use more strength. This is, again, more imbuement damage. Uh, control. Oh yeah, because pen and ink greaves chills things, so this just gives more chill damage. So you can't freeze the Lilith, but chill you definitely can. Anyhow, that is it. What a journey. Wow, it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm signing off now.